Well, hey, all you Days of Our Lives fans, it's time to start dishing days. Stay tuned now. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Why, hello, all of you Dish and Days fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days, where we give you a full recap of this week's episodes of Days of Our Lives. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my gaggle of gals. Girl! Girl! Girl. We have <laughs> <laughs> to my far left. Oh, Mark J. Freeman. Mark, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm delicious. <laughs> oh. oh, she's so delicious. Yes. <laughs> Cue that up. <laughs> and of course, next to him we have Matthew Evan Payne. <laughs> the way that came out, it sounds like <laughs> action news with Matthew, Matthew Evan Payne. Payne. <laughs> Down with that. Kind of is. It's kind of like action news. And then you're like Bravo. He's I'm like Jay Freeman. <laughs> He's no action news. <laughs> no action. <laughs> Rude. And of course, we have you guys watching us live. Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. And of course, and our gaggle of girls in the chat room. Don't forget that. Oh, our gaggle of girls in the chat room. And Daquan, yes, I mean you. <laughs> 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 and of course, if you haven't already, make sure you like us, follow us on all social media platforms. We are Dishon Days on Twit on Facebook and Instagram and at underscore Dishon Days on Twitter. The at is implied. Yes. Um, we just had a few hours ago Paid Seriously come in and mm -hmm. chat with us. Lovely girl, great girl. She gave us the tea on her Everything. boyfriend James, on her leaving days. And if you um if you watch the show, she mentioned this quick story about um, when she first met James for her screen test, and she couldn't remember how James got her number. And James actually texted me during the show, but I didn't get it until after the show, and James said that Marnie gave him her mom's number. So that's how... Um, he got her number. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, we found out that James is a smooth operator. Yeah, totally. You know Not how I got Billy's. Though. You stalked him. You I went through his trash, his... and I found a bill with his phone number on it. <laughs> you know what, though? I believe you. <laughs> I, th I think everyone does. I think everyone That's does. That's not true. Well, ladies, how did we feel about this week of days? Billy Flynn v. Mark J. Freeman. Like, there's, there's court papers out there. There's a restraining <laughs> order. <laughs> Rude. Rude. I would love to hear the meeting between Billy Flynn and his attorney. <laughs> She'd show up as, as Lorraine to throw everyone off. I guarantee you my photo was passed around the wedding. Like, if you see him, yeah. let somebody know. 86 of them. Let us know. <laughs> the, the, He's going to go for the cake and Gina. Both, and both of your pictures, <laughs> Mark and Lorraine. And Lorraine, yep. yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so No, days. good week. Good week. Yeah. Much better than last. I mean, I had some issues with Friday, but we'll get into that. I couldn't agree more. Friday I could have done without, but Monday through Thursday. I did a lot of, um, well, I'll say live tweeting, but it was live when I was watching. <laughs> so no. not at the time the show was actually on, but when I it, decided to watch the it was It was literally like tweet after tweet after tweet. I was like, this lady is furious about this week. Yeah, it was... Well, I was on fire. I just kept thinking of fun things to tweet. <laughs> Let's get into it. Late at night when she One of my parents was, well, oh, I'll have to look through my tweets. Because the thing about, I, I was thing about, like laughing at myself. <laughs> the tweet about Daniel made me, I had to stop. I oh. actually had to stop what I was doing to read it because you called him DJ. And I didn't really. Well, because I wasn't going to put I know, that you name on my Twitter feed. That name. That Who's name. Who's name? Oh I my god! Find the one that made me giggle. Well, I thought I thought this week was okay. I could have done without Monday though. Like I was good at the end of Monday, but before that, I could have done without all yeah. that. Yeah, but that's they just all me. need to get back to Salem. Yes. <laughs> oh, I did tweet that. I yeah. said, did yeah, you see? You did. I was I like, did see that. I was like, my new hash, my new uh, hashtag is um, <laughs> give give Kate her. Oh, here. My new campaign, hashtag give Kate her house back, hashtag yes. leave Prague. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. No, nope, I'm done. Totally. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies, let's get right into it. It's okay. now time to start Dishing Days. Days. Flip it and forget it. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, and let's give a little shout out to uh, Sir Anthony. Anthony. 
who is in our booth. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. He probably went to get pizza rolls. Probably. All right. So there's that. He's like, I'm not listening to those gays for an hour. Right. <laughs> who's, who's gay? Um, <laughs> Ish. So let's get right into it. Let's start off with the Chloe Nicole demo storyline. Okay, so first off, just really quick, uh, Nicole finally finds out that Holly is hers mm -hmm. after Brady basically went to Chloe and was like look cat's out of the bag let's be real here um Nicole though after getting that warning from Dario um gets a little nervous hightails it to Horton Town Square where the hitman that Dario hired to kill Damos is going in for the kill and all of a sudden you just see purse down knife shank and she got him before uh, before he could kill Deimos. Um I loved it. So, what Glad do we think about did. the progression of that storyline? It just seemed so random. Like it was just like, what just happened? Like yeah. it just was so quick. Yeah. And he didn't have anything in his hands. I no. just thought it was so like you, we couldn't they... give him a knife. We couldn't get. And I don't I don't believe that he like what he was really going to walk up to Damos and strangle him in the middle of the town square. Well, yeah, he because he was going to snap his neck. Well, that was his orders because Dario said no weapons, clean, um, like break his I neck or something. That. See, <laughs> yeah, that was that conversation. Yeah, that, so that's when why there was no laundry. Weapon. That's what, that's what happened. But it see, happened. Here, okay, it's time for the vodka. Here's, <laughs> here's what I kind of wish. Um, I uh, there was there were two things. I wish that for some reason she either would have waited until he was like almost hands around the neck. Yeah. Um, or had said demos or something like that. Or instead of a knife, picked up the chair and went <laughs> like something that was more of a like don't Less. mess with him. Right. Or Damos watch out instead of a shank with a butter knife. Yeah. Well, and Damos was saying, "Why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you kill him?" And she was like, "Well, because he was walking toward you, and I didn't know if he was going to strangle you or snap your neck. Well, he could have just been walking." Well, but the, but but then it was like, she was she was like, he was he was walking towards you. He was getting ready to break your neck or snap. He was getting yeah. ready to kill you. And then it was like a, but he didn't have a weapon. Like, why would you do that? And there was a part of me that was like, so you really think Nicole will just run up to some random dude who's look, who stab. looks like he's 6'4", 230 pounds, like, of just man. Yeah. And she's just going to decide, got to get him. And just, you know, for I no reason. It, yeah. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. So, and I, I, I felt bad for her. But I also, I, I didn't like that the reveal happened the way that it did. Because I I feel like the character of Nicole has already been through so, so much. much. And it's like as soon as things are going fine, she's hit with something else. I just kind of wish that the whole shanking didn't happen and that she was able to either stumble upon the information or be at the mansion or somewhere where she could... Or even could, overhear them talking yeah, and like walk in on it. Where she could really just kind of take in this moment. But I guess the shanking and all that kind of leads up to, um, you know, this battle that her and Chloe are now going to have, which I knew they were going to pin those those girls against each other. Like, they just got back on the right track, and now here they go again. I'm not mad at it, though. I really love the conflict between the two of them. But let's be, let's be honest. I'm going to throw this to Mark because I'm going to make him talk. How do you feel about Chloe... A, not wanting to tell Nicole about Holly mm -hmm. and the lawsuit that she's going to do to get full custody of Holly. Um, I think it's I just think the whole thing's dumb. I, yeah. I just I don't like that they're making Chloe to be so nasty to Nicole when they've only ever had a good relationship. Um, it's just I, I don't know. I just because I like I like those characters too much. And it's just it's kind of annoying. No. Matthew? What was the question? No. Um. <laughs> Hi, welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. You're oh, live. Hi, everyone. You're, Matthew, your you're on with us live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Matthew calling from Los Angeles. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I said, I like the conflict between Chloe and Nicole. I think that I think that the scenes between the two of them were wonderful. They, they both played emotion so well. And if I could have given Ari the Emmy 
this week I would have. I thought, right. I thought but you know what it is. You know why? Oh, Ari's a girl. Sorry. Yep. I thought you meant Ariana, the baby. She deserves. Yeah, she gets the uh, best child actress. That's what I was like. Mm, okay. Um, she deserves. She deserves a, a, a daytime Emmy for playing sleep. But if you notice, and then waking up and Ariana never never really does anything like in the scenes. The baby, except love when Chad's Chad. in the scene. One hundred percent. He brings How? the best out of everybody. Paul, how is it that we're talking about Chloe Damos and Nicole? Because he started talking you, about Ari. He changed you, the subject. No, okay. you yeah, no, he brought, changed the subject. He said Ari, no. as an Ari Zucker, yeah, you Nicole. were with me. No. Nicole, same, same. You were with me. No. You said, same oh, story, Ari, then. the baby, and then brought up... Now, I do... I will say that I did kind of mention John's name. Yes, but, you did. But that didn't mean you could go with it. Okay, so <laughs> I have... I do have two things. I have to, I'm going through my tweets because I had... <laughs> no one tweeted you. Let's Some just be honest. No, no, no. It. These are my tweets um, about the, with the storyline because there was one. Hold on, I got to read this one. Um, where did it go? Where did it go? Um, where did you go? Oh my goodness, where did it go? Um, well, the one one of the ones that I really because well, we didn't really talk about this either with the storyline. Mm-hmm. That horrible human being was on Friday. Who? DJ. Well, Who's wouldn't DJ? he wouldn't he be a horrible ghost? Well, that's it. Yeah. Who's um, DJ? But the best was... Who's DJ? The best was when he faded out, and, and the last thing he said was, uh, you'll always have... You'll always have it. <laughs> we, we have our engine here. <laughs> Wrap it up, please. Yeah. Wrap what up? The show. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. He's anticipating. It was perfect timing. Totally over. Anticipating. Everyone was like, yeah. "All right, Mark." When he's as he's fading to black, which we I sure, beg your pardon. We sure hope is the last time he ever fades to black. Um, he says to Nicole, "You'll always have my heart." Q door. Eric walks in. Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, two shades. Two shades. Uh, which I wondered actually in that moment if they were foreshadowing Nicole and Eric. Getting back together, you I mean think Nicole maybe. And Brady? Well, yes, uh, Mar- Martha Brady. See, yeah. yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I found, I'm thinking you. of what you put in there. Yeah. Um, you know okay, we're gonna so, get messages that are like, "Stop calling them by their real name." I know. Sometimes it happens. It's confusing. Um, so I will say this: <laughs> I, it, it is. It is confusing it is for us. I think that um, I don't know. I'm kind of over. Oh, here. I'm kind of over the uh, the whole Daniel stuff. Yeah. I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I you've can't. been done. Oh, yeah. I couldn't. You, I would. I, I, I was would, done a year ago. I would when prefer, he died. I know. And I they would, took his heart out of his body. Yes. And gave it to somebody else. Yes. I just. I, I, I just don't feel like she just needs. He's on air more than Christopher Shaw. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> I just feel like wow. we don't. We don't need. It's true. Like him as like a, a a like a guide all the time. You know what I mean. I mean, it's it's a beautiful moment. I won't take that away because I think maybe she is still grieving, and so that is comfort. And maybe they this is the last time they need to move the story along. But I was just kind of like, this time I wasn't like, oh, yeah. I was kind of like, oh. yeah. yeah. Uh, my other thing that I was wanted to comment on yes. about the story too was that when um, Victor and Deimos are they're all kind of going at it with with uh, Chloe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and she's, <laughs> she almost got my quote of the week uh, when she said to Victor and Deimos, "I'm so gl- uh, I'm so glad I'm being lectured on morals by you two. <laughs> right? But you know, you have to hand it to her. She held her she own did. against she totally Deimos did. and Victor. She totally did. And Deimos, I mean, not Deimos. Victor went in on her. Yeah. Like yeah. out of n- and poor Maggie. Maggie. Yeah. Victor, stop it. It was like poor. I, I always feel like this. I always feel like. A lot happened. Let's admit that was a good invitation to Maggie. It was. It was. This is what you were looking for. Yes. Let's give it I to was, him. I was. I was. Give it yeah. to him. Yeah. Um, I I do feel like they like they throw a lot at Maggie and is a little overwhelming because at first it was like Holly is is your your granddaughter and it's like oh I'm so happy and then you have your husband like well this. Whore and blah 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 blah. And you, <laughs> he's, you, he's so you're nothing, mean. You're nothing but an incubator and like all this yeah. stuff. And then she's just like, "But this is my moment. Like, yeah. Let me just." And then finally, she was just like, 
can I just talk to you in the other room? <laughs> Let me get you away from these two. Right now. Yeah. And let's just go have a moment. Meanwhile, she's holding a loaf of bread wrapped in a blanket. Is she? Well, I mean, it's not a bit. You can you can tell when the baby's in the scene. Right. Yeah. When you can tell when it. It's when, an empty teepee yeah. that yeah. Chad's yeah. talking to. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> I was I wanted to give Damos kudos for trying to smooth things over. I was just gonna say that. I was until just gonna say that. he just <laughs> went left again, and it's like. Can't we just get along for five girl. minutes? It's like it's like fake it till you make it. Just be like, okay, girl, listen. Yeah, I messed up. I'm sorry, but don't do this to Nicole. I ha- I also I wanted to bring up something because um, and I don't remember who it was that um, tweeted me or replied to one of my tweets when I was tweeting about um, Chloe and Deimos and Victor, but um, <clears throat> she didn't like the what was going on the way Victor was speaking to. Nicole or Chloe? Chloe. <clears throat> I just thought I want uh, what you guys thought. She I think she was really she just thought that she, that they have it so that Victor is um a little too mean mm-hmm. to the women on the show. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? I don't think it's just women. I think it's Chloe. <laughs> I think I think anyone who has crossed Victor, yeah. Whether Anybody. whether man or or a woman, he will throw everything in the kitchen sink at you. Well, her other thing, too, was, like, well, now, like, the, his, when we've talked about this, his 180 with Deimos. Mm-hmm. Like, he tried to kill Maggie, you know, all the stuff that he did to him, and now they're brothers. I'm going to get, and I think the only reason I give it a pass is because there had to be some sort of con- conflict. I mean, granted... <laughs> Paralyzing Maggie is an extreme, yeah. but there had to be some sort of conflict because you can't just walk back in and go, "Hey, you put me in jail, whatever." You know what I mean? We're we're buddies again. There had to be some sort of conflict. So I, I'm and I'm gonna let it slide a little bit, but I agree with you. I think it's no matter who it is that crosses him. Yeah. So I don't think it's necessary. I mean, he is harsh to Chloe, but Chloe's. It's not like Chloe is cowering and put, throwing her tail between her legs. Yeah. You know, she's a tough girl. She tried but to kill. Teresa people before, tried to too. stick up for herself too, and he still didn't relent. Yeah. Even with Maggie's pleas. Yeah. But I also feel like Victor is also that person where if you can if you can turn things around, then he'll forgive you. Oh, I think because it's Diane. Diane Lee? Diane. I think she's yeah. the one that tweeted, because she just said, too, and it wasn't that just that. It was also that he kidnapped and tortured Bo. Right. But, um, but also, as far as with Maggie and Deimos, Deimos recognized what he did was wrong. And he rectified that by finding that doctor for Maggie. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. So like I feel like We're gonna give him a little pass. You can you can some you can kinda redeem yourself. And I also think didn't How can you hate Pop Pop? <laughs> didn't didn't Maggie have a conversation with, with Victor as well about yeah. about his hatred towards Deimos and was just kinda like yeah. get over it? Yeah. She's the voice of reason. Yeah. So I so I think there's that. And but I but I think in Victor's eyes, if you keep doing things over and over again, he's just going to, like, remind you of all the stuff that you've done because you just haven't changed. Yeah. I think I would be friends with Maggie. I would be. Yeah, I really like her. Like I, if she was a real person? If I... Or are you talking about... Like if I... if When, when I go to Salem? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in a delusional world. Um, is there, are there, she is just on one today. Are there any other things that are being said in the chat, Mark? Um, oh, let's see here. Why um, can't he torture hope? hope? Oh, please. <laughs> you know, I think they should put... Here's what I, I think. There should be a whole episode, and they should bring in a whole fleet of rocks to the Salem PD, because they can get the work done. Just saying. Uh, just saying. Daquan said, uh, and why doesn't Daquan's? nobody ven- mention Victor's sins? It's fair game. Because there, it's only an hour show. Any drug fill. Well, you know what? It's daytime. Psh. Psh. You oh. can drug a few people and get away with that. Right. Victor, Victor, I'm sure Victor, Victor, at some point Victor. Marlena drugged somebody. Oh, yeah. You know? The only well, person who probably would never do that is Billy. So. So, um, <laughs> so when it comes to Chloe and Nicole, who are we team? Nicole. 
Well, yeah, Nicole. I and mean, Nicole? you mean to have custody of the baby? Of Holly? Nicole. Yeah, Nicole, duh. Yeah. I just think, I just think they're, uh, and this is one of those things that I, that we, we talked about a long, long, long time ago, and I feel like they kind of rectified it, but now this story in particular is dragging it out again. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I liked when, like, I don't mind there being some conflict. I don't mind there being some, you know, keeping it a secret for a week or so, but when you're dragging it out, and it's like, now she knows, but now you're gonna create this new conflict. Yeah. That she stabbed somebody, and this other new conflict that now Chloe wants to keep the baby from her. It's like, come on, just stop it. Like, yeah. just, it's not gonna help your show to drag it out. It's hurting it. It's hurting it. Just it, let it get let, it. Amen. So I don't know if this is Dina. Let her have her if baby. If it's still, if we're still seeing Dina stuff, because oh, I Oh yeah, I think you've got six more months of seeing Dina stuff. So yeah. I'm, uh, as pro Dina as I've been, I'm not liking I how long it's dragging out. And everyone's Team Nicole in the chat room. I don't think I saw one. Oh, no, I saw Team Chloe. No, nope, a couple of Team Chloe's. Man Lover, 32. Who else was a Team Nicole? Or Team. I think um, that it was wonderful that Chloe carried the baby and that her intentions were wonderful. But. What do you mean? Her to tell? To, I think it was wonderful that Chloe carried. Holly. Oh, Carrie. Yeah. I thought yes. you meant Carrie. No. Um, but I, you know, I think that that is all great, but the baby isn't yours even though you carried it. Right. Yeah. And I don't know the law behind surrogacy and stuff like that. I oh, and I wonder what, what the law is in Salem. I don't, I don't know what the real law says, but not yeah, that, not always, that yeah. daytime pays attention to that, but... It would I be like, interesting to know. I like to think they do. I doubt anyone in our chat room. Oh, maybe somebody knows about surrogacy. I don't All know. right. Well, there's that. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. <sighs> what <sighs> could we possibly talk about next? God, you said this was vodka? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you like my mug? Did anyone notice how extreme? <laughs> you need I did. A I walked in and noticed that. Next week. I'm walking in a winter wonderland. I know it was in the mug it's cabinet, over. and now I at least don't have to get 20 refills. That's true. I don't think I've had water. Today. I think each week my mug's going to get bigger until it's replacing Matthew in this chair, <laughs> and you have to sit over there because my mug is it's so, so big. big. <laughs> what should we talk about now? Okay, so I have an idea. I think we should now do something a little different. Oh boy. Something we don't normally do. Something I'm not very well known for. Personality? What do you, I don't. Rude. <laughs> Hashtag rude. Um, I think we should. It's like charades. Anthony, if you're, are you in there, Anthony? Are you? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you um, cue up some music for me, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much. It's a good voice, We're gonna isn't do, it? yeah. Yeah, you can play it. It'll it'll be mine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's that moment in the show when Billy Flynn takes off his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we all turned in on Thursday when Marcy <laughs> tuned in when and turned on Marcy when Abby and Chad both turned simultaneously and looked at the bed in the hotel and I said do it <laughs> <laughs> so we had some love making you know what's incredible in Salem to about that week. scene other than a near naked billy uh, the fact that the lovemaking song was so bad, I had to watch the entire lovemaking scene on mute. I, I, I couldn't hear it. It was, it was so bad. That's their song. Oh, it's nobody's song. It's so bad. I'm sure it's on iTunes. <laughs> well. Sure All right, so. Oh, one, of those, one of those 79 cent songs. Oh, my gosh. So. So, yeah. So, so what else happened? So, basically, um. They did the damn they thing, damn thing. They consummated their marriage again. again. For the like first, well, this the is the first time, time since they... Like it was the first time. Right. Well, with Marcy. Like it was what... He Kate. has with Kate, but not with Marcy. Like it's with the first time. <laughs> um, they have chemistry. They do. It was great. He it has was, chemistry it was with, fantastic. with everybody. Yeah. They did it. They did it. Like it was but the what I, it was interesting how it led up to it with the whole thing with her and Gabby 
having their little <laughs> thing, and then she was in the. I thought she looked hot. She did. Mm-hmm. She looked hot with her little hoo ha's hanging out. Yeah, that's and what they're technically dress. called. I think. I don't know. I don't. From what you're told, I'm what I'm. I just read magazines. The textbooks in Lorain, Ohio, <laughs> call them hoo ha's. Hoo ha's. Oh, John. John Deray said Billy was thinking about Mike Riley doing that scene. Oh. oh. Who Shots said that? Can fired. we flag them? Flag him. Get him out of the chat room. Oh, um, Shay Ray noticed our '70s porn music. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! We tried. We cute. Yeah, we were looking for that the whole time. Marlon said, "Oh, that glorious and beautiful chess hair." Um, she well, Daquan says he doesn't think they have chemistry. Hmm, interesting. Who hmm. said that? Daquan. Daquan. Yeah, but you know, Daquan liked yeah. melanin, so. <laughs> yeah, and he also is confused about who Greg Vaughn loves first. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so Not there was, you, a, there was way, some Daquan. some bomb chicka bomb bomb mm-hmm. with the nerdy guy. Yeah. With so Abby. good. And then almost got busted with Chad and Gabby. And then, um, yeah, there was some lovemaking. And um, it's, it looks like they're making it, like they're trying to get Abby into the storyline. Abby and Gabby into mm-hmm. this whole Demira, Kyriakis, and um, Hernandez, Hernandez. Organiz- 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 or- organized crime. Organized we'll crime. I, th- I, I liked. This, I liked Gabby and Abigail teaming up mm-hmm. to kind of samadana the Hernandez Demos Kiriakis thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mm-hmm. was beside myself when Abigail came in and was like, Oh, I'm sorry, is Dario here? <laughs> and I was like, Okay, girl, yeah. yes, with that stuff. And then uh-huh. that anything you want, and then that that drop of the phone that was like. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I like her so much. Yeah, she really it was, is. It was really good. She's she's fun to watch. It she was really, great. really is. I also you know what else I liked? I actually liked the fact when she was talking to Chad that she made the, I loved the comment where she was like, you know, me and Gabby both love you. Mm-hmm. And we just I have to that. figure that. I just liked that they said it. Yeah. I like that they are talking about it. Like that they're not going to be like, oh, let's Caddy. pretend this isn't happening. This is happening. We both love you. We just need to figure out now where this who's who's going to end up with who. Yeah. So I like that. I actually appreciated that. Yeah. She she was basically like, listen, I understand why. You're doing like you're mm-hmm. still talking to her, communicating with her, and we both we both do love you, and she can't deny mm-hmm. that. Like she's not gonna pretend like it's not. I was gonna say something else, and then I tried to find some <laughs> another word. The word that I was going to use was yeah. not gonna be a great one. Um, so, Mark, before uh, when we were before we started the show and we were talking about this, we were talking about the love making scene. Uh huh. What were your favorite parts of that scene? <laughs> Um, there was a lot of leg. We got we got some Billy Flynn leg. Um, there was that was actually le- the name of the scene. Billy Flynn leg. There was. You know what? I have to. It was. I have to say, for some reason, I was like, that leg is a little risque because it like started down and like panned up, and I was like, yeah. There, yeah. there was a moment where you kind of went. But you know what he does say, and he has said. That, I think he even might have even said it on our show. But he's said it multiple times that when he's do when he's doing his acting and he's on on set, he loves to just be as authentic as possible. And there was some another scene. I think it might have even been another love scene, maybe with Gabby or something, where he said um, they were trying to do something. He was like, "No, no, no! I want to do it like this because it's it's just it's would look." more natural and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I said, I think I said when we were off air, I don't think he was wearing underpants. I think he really was... Butt bone I think he, I'm, I'm putting my money on butt naked. I'm, I think he was like, sorry, Marcy, this is how I roll. So You, you should think, text him and ask him. I could do that. Let's, okay, wait, let's take a vote. So you think he was naked? Naked. What do you think he was wearing? Uh, what God uh, gave him? Briefs. Uh, tidy whities Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say he he had on boxer briefs. 
boxer briefs. Yeah, I but, think like the, some, uh, but like, rolled, but like, like the, pulled up. Not pulled up, but like you saw the short up ones. His leg. You a did. Lot. did see you did. Up his but, leg, which is why like, I'm saying. But right where the, I love that this is what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but Should right, I run a Twitter poll and then you can give us the results if you ask him this week? Yeah. But like, I want to know now. Well, everyone in the chat room, right? What do you think? Everyone in the chat room. What God there. gave him? Tidy whities or boxer briefs, and I, and I think it's the short boxer because I, I so the box cut, not like the yeah, long, not like the brief, long like ones, but the long cut. ones. Okay, and, and then, you think like a tidy whitey or like a like the the you know the underwear they give you like the flesh tone, flesh tone. I was I was thinking tidy whities. Uh -huh. You were thinking okay. tidy whities. Okay, so uh, I just don't see my boy wearing tidy whities. For the scene, I just don't see it. I feel like if he were wearing tidy whities, I bet they have Superman on him. I think he called Marcy's husband and said, "Look, dude, I'm doing this. This is how I roll. Balls to thigh." Text. <laughs> oh wait, are you are you using your phone as a chat? No, I'm in here. Text him and see and ask him. Tell him we're 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 doing the show live and we want to know John Del Rey what you're wearing. John Del Rey just wrote. Is this a real conversation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and look, okay. Look what the chat says. Uh, uh, I see naked, naked boxer briefs, boxer brief, boxer briefs, underwear, boxers. LOL, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing they don't side with me. <laughs> So sure. a lot of a lot of box of briefs. Yep. Mm. Mm. So hopefully we'll find out. I'm. Is it is it weird that I'm actually kind of curious now because I just want to see who's right. Yeah. Okay. But it's because you're infatuated with them and you just don't like to admit. Ooh, it. someone said g-string. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Like I, I'm I'm think well, I, and I think by g-string they mean like that state the the f film and TV underwear that's yeah. nude. That's, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Kinda. I love that Diane said that love scene was the best two minutes and forty five seconds of the entire week. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, I, and I tweeted something about it, and somebody said, "Well, enjoy, uh, I think it was uh, Nikki. Uh, oh, what's his name on Twitter? Um, tweeted me. He was like, enjoy Thuesday because you're gonna hate Friday.'" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shoot, we know what that means." Oh boy. Okay, um, look, uh, we're doing a show and we're taking a poll to see what you were wearing in the love scene. I say... This is really naked. actually happening. Tony says boxer briefs. And Matthew says... Tidy whities Tighty. Oh, not righty. Freaking autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Tidy whiteies. I feel like <laughs> I'm like in it's suspense. It's that day. Tell Not Whitney's. <sighs> Your phone is super gay. <sighs> okay, anyway, so please. while we find that out for you guys, hopefully we'll have an answer to you before we leave. Um, and that is pretty much it with that storyline this week. I like week, how right? the entire feed is the responses to what type of underwear, <laughs> if any. Is it is it still is it still going? People are still saying stuff? Boxer briefs. Oh. Okay. Why would Billy Flynn give Mark his number? Oh, Daquan. Daquan? I swear to God, you better hope I never find you. <laughs> um oh, um we also saw since we're we're uh talking about Chad, and I don't think it's anywhere. Chad. Billy. Um, Cue the music, Anthony. <laughs> we're, we're, um, Anytime I say Billy or Chad, you can play the porn music. <laughs> we're still seeing um, them trying to figure out uh, the whole Hernandez, Kiriakis, Demera. Oh, um, how do you do that? Stuff. Um, I think. Um, I don't know what just happened. Um, I think. What do you guys think about that? Sorry, the um, Kyriakis feud, the Kyriakis Demera Hernandez feud. I just think I mean, it's over so, well, here, so stupid. Okay, I'll say what I like first. Okay, I like, and I tweeted this about. I tweeted something about this too. Mm -hmm. I like seeing it be Chad and 
um, Sunny and Sunny mm -hmm. and and uh, Dario. Dario that are spearheading it. Yes. That it's the new generation. That it's yes. the days that we want to see. I like that. I love that Gabby and Abby are involved. I love all that. Mm -hmm. The storyline itself, I don't Boring. really understand. I still don't really understand what's going on. I still don't. I don't care why you need it. I don't know. I don't care why it was hidden in purses. Like I just don't. None of that makes any sense. I just like seeing them. I like seeing the dynamic between Sunny and. And Chad, mm -hmm. like that's the stuff I like. So I'm gonna let it go, but we'll see. Whatever. Matthew, do you remember years ago when Kate was played by Deborah Adair? There, I, there was I an, do. there was an office for Countess Wilhelmina mm -hmm. with Billy, and then Victor mm -hmm. had his own office. I want to see the offices. Like yeah. I want to see them at work. I want to know more about what they do rather than just talking about Titan. Yeah. We're talking mm -hmm. about. I remember the Titan so. offices when Nicole was married to Victor, mm -hmm. and there was the desk in the hallway, and then Victor's in the boardroom yes. and stuff like that. I remember mm -hmm. all that. Yep. Totally. Well, the with this feud, I this I think this is what we're seeing. So Sonny, Dario, and Chad are trying to prevent what the elders Ed Eduardo, Demos and, and, Andre. and Andre are doing because really it's really between Andre and Demos because Demos because Andre sunk the ship Demos wants to go at war Eduardo is kind of missing from it from them and but they're trying to prevent it but Dario is somewhere in the middle between how he should be with the young ones and how he is with the older ones. And that was your recap of the Hernandez <laughs> Demera like, Kiriakis feud. So I don't know. I just I I think that's where the confusion kind of comes in at. But I think all in all what they're trying to prevent are the two hot headed ones, which are Damos and Andre, before it gets team too much. Um <laughs> people are say saying that they they're liking the team the story. I mean, I do. I I mean, I I like seeing these three. I like the fact that the they've now kind of built up the Hernandez family, and I and I like that there's this now triangle of a feud that's happening. Oh, there's one Hernandez I wouldn't miss. Who? If he left. Who? Rafe. I mean, I think they should just go off and go on a boat, sail around the world. That's my dream. Oh, gosh. All right. Insert large smile. Moving on. <laughs> what else do we have? Prague. We need to tear down those sets and put them back the way they were. <sighs> okay, and is it just me? And I did tweet this, too. Is it just me? Or is the gay the hardest worker in Prague? He wasn't in one scene because he was out doing detective stuff. No. He you, was working. You know what he was doing? He was out making sure that they had did their job. Right. He was yeah. checking and double checking. Yes. Leave it to the gay. Leave it to the ga. The gay. I'm just saying. Wow. So what happened? There was some there was some Stephen Kayla love making as well. Well first of all, uh, well Nothing. Kayla almost got shot. Yeah. You can't be sneaking into somebody's And apartment. it wasn't Anna this time. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, Prague, see, Prague needs to go away. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, it's... Okay, I'm quickly. Not, so I just, it, what, what all happened in Prague? Just a quick recap for the for the folks. Um, so, the, didn't they, um, they, they found, well, they think they found him. Uh, well, it's, it's just them, they, all that keeps happening is they keep thinking they found him. They go to him, Anna shoots somebody besides him. <laughs> And then they come meet back at the Horton House. And then they have this blurry <laughs> photo, which looked like a young Burt Reynolds. Mm -hmm. And they were like, there he is, that's him, that's definitely Well, him. Well, they, they, they had a match this time, though. It didn't look anything like Joe. From here down, it did. There was the, there was the white beard. No, yeah, the little ghost. And, it, and, the, and they said that... It, uh, <laughs> I just thought to myself, that's not him. What, what I, this is what I chuckled at, was this technology didn't work. Because from each angle, the photo, we couldn't get a face match. So we tried some other technology. That didn't work either. But our new advanced technology, boop, 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 it's a match. And they're like, oh, so Stefano is alive. And then, and then Marlena has decided to throw herself in and say, I know what he really wants. And she had the, the Queen of the Night chess piece. And she wants to kind of set him up to where. Okay, he come in. girl, I literally when she pulled, I was I Philip was on the couch. <laughs> I was like, 
girl is carrying around chess pieces. What is going on? Yeah. Where did she get that? She, Wait, she brought, it, she packed it. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chess piece. No, because there's a, a point where I'm gonna need this in my purse. Girl. Is that put, not the is that not the chess piece from the from the safety deposit box that they found? That uh, Rafe and Paul found? Girl, I don't know. Girl, you act like girl, I watched the girl, show. No, no, Stop no, acting I was like I watched the show. Rolls, girl. Girl. I was getting pizza rolls, girl. girl. Girl, I, I was getting pizza that. rolls, girl. Maybe it was. But I just still thought it was kind of silly. She was just like, oh, so I had a Richard. I almost had a pizza roll. <laughs> Can you imagine if she, if DJ Hall pulled out a? We also away. have to talk about fake Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Man Lover, for reminding me because I did tweet about that as well. I was like, "You're not fooling me, Days of Our Lives. That is not so." <laughs> no, I really loved that scene, though. The Celeste scene. Yeah. Really. Yeah. The <laughs> outside of TBD. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That You're not the, fooling me, Days. That is You're the not Prague Cafe. Me. Yeah. I okay. So I just liked it. But why did you like the, it? Of, Tell me about, why you liked it. I want of the suspenseful music. <laughs> you can get me with. So you didn't like the scene. You liked the music. <laughs> well, I just like how how she like the didn't, cinematography. She didn't. Yeah. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste Junior didn't want to say exactly what it was, and then she was like, and for, for whatever reason, which is unbeknownst to me, the phoenix is the rising. Phoenix, the phoenix is rising. Bum, bum. <laughs> Never gets old. I didn't quite understand. The I, I I didn't understand her her part oh. in that. Dun dun dun. Uh -huh. Oh, Billy, reply? Uh, yes. Hold on. I changed my... All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, if you guys were tuning can we in... Play, oh. Can you play the music again? Wait, dun, dun, dun. Wait, wait, wait. So, I, so if you guys weren't watching earlier, okay. we took a poll right here with the three of us to find out what was Billy wearing during the lovemaking scene with Abigail. And to hear the answer, it is only appropriate to have this music playing. Yes, we need the music. If Anthony's in the room. There it is. All right. So, okay, before I even read it, I just love that he says, I think. Like, he doesn't even remember. It's because they're 18 months ahead like, of she was, schedule. She was doing shots at Patron. Um, he says, I think nude underwear. Okay. Well, then it well, goes... I did, well, it was I mean, one I, of your nine It guests. was one yeah. of my... Yeah. So, nude underwear. So, then it goes to Matthew. You got that. Thank you. You take that. You were right. I don't... I, I disagree that it goes to Matthew, but... I think I was the closest. I don't know, because I said naked, and naked is nude. Underwear. Girl. Which is not nude. <laughs> nude underwear is not nude. Should I just ask him who wins? You said... Because you know he's going to say me. You said... So, we're just going to go with what Billy no, says. No, no. You, oh, but right. Billy, you only, Billy only thinks they were nude, so... You defined... Naked as, and I quote, <laughs> it was, I think he was balls, balls to, to the wall. Balls to thigh. I said balls, balls to thigh. Balls to thigh. <laughs> Marcy Miller. <laughs> Bro! Days after dark. <laughs> so, there we go. That's oh, awesome. Goodness. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, thanks, thanks Billy, for, for playing. <laughs> um, okay, so back to Prague. Show of hands, who's over the Prague storyline? Billy. Oh. <laughs> Billy was just having dinner with Gina. And, I know. And, he's like, oh, it's Mark again. And he was like, Gina. <laughs> she was like, is that him? Oh, my goodness. It's, oh, it's, girl. It's, it's Billy calling it's Billy. Billy. Like, Stop talking about it's me, Billy. girl. It's Billy yeah. calling me. Sorry, Billy girl. needs to get in here. Billy needs to get in here for another interview. I know. Oh, Thank you, Linda C., who says Matthew wins. I, I mean, I have to kind of agree that it's Matthew. All right. So. I see something. Something says shagging Mike Riley. Hold yes. On. Sorry, I took so long to answer. I was shagging Mike Riley. Oh, that was really? Billy's reply. Really? Okay, back to Prague. So we all agree that the Prague storyline should be over. I just kind of feel like, oh, and poor Rafe. He's just poor Rafe. He's, poor us. Well, no, no, no. I mean, he's he's the only one that's just so impatient about. I can't finding it because for Hope's benefit and I can't. and. And I love that that past is just kind of like, dude, chill out. Let's go grab ice cream. One thing I do like. I want ice cream. <laughs> there is one thing about it I, that happened at the end of the week that I liked. Okay. Closing credits. <laughs> Roll those credits. Um, was that Marlena said, 
use me as bait. And yes. I was like, okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah. here we go. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Now we're going down the road that I, it should have been going down. But from I the hope beginning. it's more exciting than than the storyline with John Black's real father, and they all had the guns like Charlie's Angels. Do you remember that? Oh, I try to forget it. That was some bad storyline right there. Yeah, it was, that was an interesting one. But I, you know, you know what it is about the storyline is that I feel like now they're dragging it out so long and they're hitting so many dead ends that I kind of wish they got to Prague, and they, they, they're already at this point, weeks ago, where yeah. they found a match. They knew that he was alive, and they're like, "Well, how are we gonna get him?" And Marlena says, "You know what? Let's let's set this trap." And by now we have already seen yeah. what what their plan was. Like yeah. I like I, I, I need it to feel like that. Because all of these dead ends that are happening, like the whole safety deposit box, and you're like, oh, and then that was a dead end. Like I, I kind of feel I feel where they were going, but I feel like if 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 you're gonna have a clue, at least let something, even if it's small, happen. <laughs> what? Who wrote that? Marlon Watts. <laughs> you have to read it now. Paul was kidnapped by Yo Ling. <laughs> I can't. Okay, that was freaking funny. I can't. That, that was very That was good. That was a good one, That was good. That was, good that was really good. That Kudos. was good, Marlon. Kudos. You distracted me. Sorry about that. Kudos. Um, yeah, right. it was. Uh, and, and then, like, the whole when Rafe was getting, and they were talking about this in the chat room, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Rafe was getting in Steve's face. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. no. Do you, like back who up. are you? I think to get in his face. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Who are Mrs. you? Mrs. Billy Flynn. Life. Which I share the title with I, you. When Steve and Kayla decided to go get ice cream, yeah. uh, after the argument between Steve and Rafe, Steve was like... Before, when they saw Celeste? Steve scoffed at Rafe. He was like, <laughs> like I'll, I'll, kill, I'll kill you. Yeah, like, <laughs> this little bitch don't know who he's He's like, like, I got you. He's like, why do you think I got one eye, bitch? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like bitch is fine. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, I feel like. And I just I told you, but when we before we started, just put the explicit on there because I was in that kind of mood today. Oh boy! It's All like, right, well, I warned. I warned him at least. That was Prague. Um, I, yeah. Let's get on with it. Done. All right, so because that's kind of is that com combined with um, the re oh okay no what what, what we're talking Eric. about next yeah okay really quick Hope and Eric. Okay. <laughs> Make it really quick. I mean, really quick. I, I can't. can't. She. <laughs> Thank you. I can't either. I can't. Basically, not. He's still. And I feel he's so still bad for Greg. Her. He's still nursing her. This is how I Girl, feel. Girl, when he tossed, I was like, <laughs> he tossed her in, in the, the water. I was like, hold her head in. Hold her head down. Just dunk her in. <laughs> yeah. Leave her in there. This is how I feel. Pull a Whitney. <laughs> this, oh. Oh, Mark. Too soon. Yes. Too soon. Oh. Sorry. Oh. All right. Uh, when they have these scenes with Hope and Eric, I it's it makes me want to cry. Like I just, it, I just want I just want them to end. I just want this it's story literally this, to be. I over. don't even care. I, I literally am like, oh, time to check my Facebook. <laughs> oh, time to check my yep. Twitter. Oh, I'm gonna yep. tweet this thing yeah, now. I was just gonna say. I literally don't. E I couldn't even tell you what they're talking other about. Other than him taking her, dunking her in water, and bringing her back. That's the only thing that I really remember. Yeah. Yeah. And then the the whole dreaming of Rafe and Hannah and all that. And I'm sure it's been blah, covered. Blah, blah. Not that you and I listened. I'm sure it's been covered. But why doesn't he take her to the hospital? At least because she's, she's uh, uh, drop her off. Well, because she's those put her back in jail. That's okay. Well, I mean that's she's okay dying. for us. It's not okay for his her nephew. You know, like he's not okay with that. So uh, well, all right, what's next? Let's just go on to the next thing okay, before team. I get oh, annoyed. God. Okay, go ahead. This I actually I I don't know. I kind of like it. That okay. So we're going to talk about now the teens, the teen apartment, which I love the apartment. I do too. I think it's hip and trendy and cool. I um, live there. I totally would live there, and I would want the spirals. I want uh, me I'll, too. I, uh, no, yes. it's my room. Girl, sorry, girl. Yeah, me there are two rooms up there. Me and Billy are up there. They're dual masters. <laughs> two oh, rooms. Yeah. Go up the stairs, and there's wings. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like I was, I was. I, I think was they adding, called it a loft. I was adding something onto our, our thing, and all I heard was, "Girl, those spiral stairs, girl. <laughs> girl, me and Billy live up there." Girl, but did you and, say me and Billy will live up there? Yeah, yes. I didn't hear that. And, and there's a moment where, where if any, if you're listening, I'm pretty sure somebody probably went. I'm on the wrong show. Girl, <laughs> girl, girl, 
Girl. Girl. Okay, continue. But I am enjoying the teens. <laughs> yes. Daquan just said the best thing about the Hope and Eric storyline. He wrote, my <laughs> neck hurts, Eric talks, head up, Hope talks, head down, and the mute button. <laughs> Daquan, we agree on something. Yeah. No, I, I, I like the teens. I, I just like that they're, I like having them in, in one apartment. It'll be interesting to see how everything unfolds, whether you like people together or not, or whether you like the actors or the characters or whatever. I like that they're together. I like that they're giving them something to work with. Um, it was really funny <laughs> to see, I think, Sierra, it was when um, they told, um, Sierra told um, Claire to clean up or something, and she's like, I'm not cleaning up, and then, like Sierra left, and then Jade was like, oh, I'll do it, and, and Claire was like, oh, were you still here? <laughs> and I literally had to go, I'm kind of. I kind of forgot she was there. Too. <laughs> and then I felt so bad. And then Claire but, handed her her dirty her, plate. Yeah, and was yeah. just like, and then walked like, off. But do you sense? Like I, I sense a, a foreshadowing, a setup by that whole statement that was made about one for all, all for one. That whole yeah, yeah. Because then when she walked away, Jade and, said and it Jade again. said something like, "Yeah, I'll believe it." Like. A, I just feel like they're setting us up for something. That something is something's about to go down in that brewing. apartment. Something's a brewing. Yeah, I you just, just want to say something. I said yeah, something's a brewing. First off, I like the <laughs> fact that uh, all the parents kind of came by, well, with the exception of Hope <laughs> and and Jade's <laughs> parents, and we're just kind of like checking in on them, so helping all, them. Not all, not all of them. Uh, checking in, making sure everything was okay. I like that um, that Sierra Shady. Tried to bring up, like, I mean, do you think it's okay for Theo and Claire to be, like, living here together? Because, you know, yeah. things can go down. And I felt like Belle was kind of like, girl. Girl, what are you talking about? Back up. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not and the parent here. I keep, and I, I also keep forgetting that Hope is Claire's grandmother. So I was glad that she sa finally said something like, because she always refers to as, Claire as Sierra's mom. And I'm like, girl, your grandmother. Like, I think I think Claire did. She did. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't usually. So yeah. I was glad that oh they, they did. And then Wallace just said one of the teens will probably die. Oh, it could oh be. Oh my god. Well, I mean it could be. You never know. We'll um I, I, mm. I did like I, I don't know I kind of I liked that Abe came. Yes. I liked that um, Belle and Sean came. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because well I'm so happy Steve Belle and Kayla were there the, so, you know the week yeah, before so, to set them up. I think it I mean it was it was cute I mean it wasn't yeah. I, I didn't hate it at all. I'm just I didn't hate it's hey you heard it here first yeah. I he didn't, didn't hate, hate it. it. I'm because two people weren't in the scenes. I'm who name those two people Hope and Bo Rafe. <laughs> well, okay, three people. <laughs> Hope, Hope and, and uh, Mr. Michaels, Jade's father. No. What? Oh, Hope and Daniel. <laughs> I know. Um, Girl, I'm not the one who keeps putting him on air. Don't roll your eyes at me. He just snorted Daniel's name, so that's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, this this storyline has piqued my interest. I find it a little weird that they're all living together, but it's piqued my interest. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm saying. I'll I like, say that. I, I like there's something there. Yeah. Something. Okay. All right, moving so on. Let's just What's find next? out What's what next? it is, though. What's next? What's next? Let's just find out what it is. Get there. Okay. Get there. And then the last but not least, there was uh, something's, uh, looks like Anne's coming back into the picture. Um, I, okay, <laughs> who forgot about Anne? You know, I, I didn't think I, of it I, until they showed Lucas. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if this is nope, going to be another Anne scene. Not, when they showed Lucas, I was like, man, you've been gone for well, a long time. And actually, then they showed Anne, and I was like, girl, where you been? I take it back. You know how I knew Anne was coming in? Uh -huh. Because usually you don't hear the background. Yeah. You heard the door close loudly. Mm -hmm. And I knew somebody walked in. Because you, you could audibly oh, hear the door to the Brady yeah. Hub close. And I was like, oh. Anne just came in. I just knew as soon as I heard it, that's when I knew Anne was there. Oh. Um, but, because it was just awkward, because you just don't usually hear the door. And you just see the, like, the, the curls. Yeah. Well. Because they're clearly going like, down the path with Anne and Lucas. Yeah. Well, I feel like this. I feel like the reason why you normally don't hear the door is because background actors are taught to, if you, well, if right. you have that scene, you just kind of close the door softly. Right. Whereas... When you're a contract role, bitches, they don't care. They're just like, Whoosh. yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. I'm in the scene. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see Anne. 
Um, Adrian is kind of like, girl, I don't want to work with you. Yeah, and I I, I forgot because I <laughs> and I love how Anne tries to be nice. She's yes. like, yeah, I mean, things with Jen weren't that bad. They weren't that they were, yeah. and she was even <laughs> like, no, no, they weren't that bad. Um, <laughs> I forgot that Adrian was at the spectator <laughs> was at the spectator oh, because the whole time I kept co- thinking like co-purchased. Yeah, but the whole time I kept thinking, sure, where is she working? Like, what is she trying to get right. covered? Yeah. I, no, I remember. I, for, I forgot. Because when they introduced that with Jennifer and Adrian starting The Spectator, you expected that to be like a predominant storyline. Yeah. And then they throw it on the back burner immediately. Yeah. And you forget. Mm, that's sad. I was, um, you know me. I'm happy to see me some uh, Brian DeTillo. Of, of course. course. All right. Well, um, that has been your week that of has days. Been the week of days. And now it's time for our segments. And we're going to start with Tony's official. Three Snaps Award. Now, before I give my official award, someone tweeted earlier this week that they have a prediction as to what my Three Snaps Award will be. Or as I like to call it, you go girl. At a girl. She can't help herself. (laughs) So, Matthew Evan Payne. So... Uh, you kind of dispelled my theory of what your three snaps was going to be because you what? covered it during the show. No, just because I covered it doesn't mean it might not get it. Um, so I'm going to imitate Tony giving oh, his three snaps award. Oh, this, this is going to be, be good. good. Uh, this is yeah. going to be good. Set up what for what this. minute marker are we at in this movie or this show I so no we idea. can make note of this? Uh, so my three snaps award goes to Nicole Walker this week. <laughs> When she walks into Horton Town Square and sees the henchman walking toward Deimos, she runs toward the table. <laughs> she grabs the butter knife off the table, and I was like, ooh, is she about to do it? And then slash and does it. And I was like, girl, yes, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> and that is <laughs> and, and that is Tony's official Three Snaps Award. And before you give your three snaps award, I would like to give a three snaps award to Matthew Ever Payne giving Tony's three snaps award. Oh snap! You go, girl! (laughs) Close or not close? Well, that was a perfect imitation. Yeah, yours has got to live up to these two snaps. (laughs) Right. Um, But. You are wrong. Ooh. Yes. Oh, interesting. I could tell when you were talking about it that you weren't fond of that moment, but I thought when I watched it, I could hear yeah, you I being th- excited I, for that I happening. Can, I can see yeah. how how you thought that was a contender mm-hmm. for the Three Snaps Award, uh, but I am actually going to give my three... Sometimes I sit here and I'm like, in this last second, it's like, who's really going to get it? Who's really going to get it? I'm going to give it to... Matthew Evan Payne. I think he should have. Matthew Evan Payne! No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, I am going to give it to... Oh, my God, where's my nose? Whatever, I see it. I am going to give it to Abigail Devereaux, Marcy Miller, for two reasons. Uh One, when that girl walked in with that blue dress... Talking her southern swing, mm-hmm. I said, "Yes, bitch, you better work this nerd <laughs> for everything you can get, honey." This nerd. But then also, when before that happened, when she was talking to Gabby, and was basically like, "Because we both love Chad," I was like, <laughs> and just for the fans, I'm clarifying, you do that in your living room, don't I you? I do. Yeah. I actually do. Yeah. I do. So that's how I know when something's about to get the official three snaps you award. You went from a single hand to, to double. Like double. 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 Yes. Around the world. Though, you yes. went out with yes. it. Yes. Yes. So Marcy Miller, Abigail Devereaux, you get Tony's official three snaps award. Oh, snap. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> and now it's time for... Days disaster. Mm-hmm. Oh, Moment I forgot week. that I even had one after all that. Oh, <laughs> girl, get it together. <laughs> uh, my day disaster this week goes to the prop department. The, I mean, I swear, uh, there is a photo there somewhere. I can't tell if it's up or not. Uh, was at the teens loft when they had the pizza party, and Abe is unloading drinks onto the counter. Uh huh. Um, and it was a bottle marked cola. Oh, yeah. yeah. And a bottle marked lemon lime. Yeah. Yes. I'd rather no label. I'd rather just guess that it's Coke 
and Sprite based on the color of the bottle. I was, um, no photo. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll post it on Instagram and Twitter. I do later. remember seeing it. Yeah. I totally remember seeing it. Because they were the big, like the, the big two liter bottles. I mean, I know, I think that was a four liter. I mean, those were big. <laughs> those were big. Yeah, and Abe moves it and it's like cola. And yeah. He moves it and it's lemon lime. Yeah. And that, that's kind of like uh, several months ago I did the money where it's like it was essentially cardboard they were flipping. Oh, yeah. yes. The, yeah. I don't know. So that was my day's Astro moment of the week. It's like, I, I just, I I know they can't use Coke and Sprite because of trademark or whatever. Yeah. Um, I just got sidetracked based on something <laughs> rotten Daquan said for the fourth time in the show. He's just, he's just hateful. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of days, Aster. Um, but anyway. Sure. Uh, I, yeah, I'd just rather a soda bottle with no label than, than having well, it. Well, yeah. I mean, I get it. I do too. It was like, here's cola. It's like buying Shasta. Ain't nobody drinking that. Well, listen. When it's on sale for six or nine cents, you'll follow that two liter. Shasta. 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 You just put a, 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 a can of tab. And <laughs> right. Oh, uh, well, Daquan has a disaster, mm-hmm. and it goes to Matthew Evan Payne for thinking he's a bigger Greg Vaughn fan mm-hmm. than he is. Hashtag, I'm going to tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been your disaster wow. moment of the week. There we go. <laughs> and now it's time for. <laughs> No. <laughs> the next one. The other one. <laughs> it's now time for Mark's That's Quote a, of the Week. All righty. So my Quote of the Week this week um, uh, is going to go to Miss Martha Madison, uh, Belle I love her. Brady. The Belle of the Ball. Uh, um, after she left the teen apartment and they cut to her, them at the Brady Pub and she says, you think it's totally hypocritical that I just lectured my daughter on drinking and all I could think about on the way over here was this martini? <laughs> There you go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> At a girl. As she stirred it with the olive on the stick, I was like, you go, girl. I just love, uh, Mar- yeah, Martha's getting my clothing. I love that she's back. I love yes. I love seeing them. She was one of the people I included in that tweet that I sent out saying that I love the, this generation of days. Mm-hmm. And I wish that this was front burner all the time. I wish Me her too. and Sean and Chloe and Nicole and, and Billy and Marcy and... Um, Sonny and Paul. Sonny and Paul and Camila and and Dario and I know I'm mixing names. You know but. what it is? I'm, when you said that, it made me think of this. It's like they're trying to hold on to like the the way days used to be by keeping the John and the Marlena and everything right. like that. And I kind of feel like they should be like, okay, girl, we've lived. And I feel like the the teens that we grew up with who are now adults mm-hmm. they should be the ones having all this totally. conflict and, and all I, this kind and of I'm stuff. not saying to get rid of them I'm no. not saying no, that, no. I'm no, just no, saying no. cuz it just and, and especially when you're they're having their scene and then Marlena walks in you're just like that's the girl that's my girl you know what I mean like yeah. you're just yeah. happy to see them you're you know what yeah. I mean? like I I think they should be adding to it not I'm sorry to say that but I just yeah cuz they can get I don't know I just yeah so Martha got my quote of the week. Okay. All right. So fan oh, of the week. And that has been Oh. Mark's quote of the week. Um <laughs> oh, Anthony's too busy typing. I know how much how much more minutes we got left, Anthony. <laughs> um, all right, so now it's time for fan of the week. He said sorry. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Autocorrect is not your friend today. Mm-mm, not mine either. <laughs> um okay, so fan my of the week. Fan of the week this week is going to go to Who? Sopaholic Mary Kay from Super- uh, iTunes. She wrote us a nice little review, and she titled it "Girls," <laughs> which you know Girl. I love. You had me at "Girls." Um, she's wrote, "I look forward to this podcast every week. I'm a new days viewer. I found I followed Vincent Irizarry and was so happy to see him back on my TV. I have a 45 minute commute every weekday and listen to many podcasts to pass the time. You are by far my favorite. You never fail to make me laugh." especially Mark and his Billy fixation. <laughs> Let's read that again. Especially Mark with his Billy. You guys are hearing this, right? Don't not pay attention when they're talking about me. Um, and I'm, that has been no, your fan of the No, world. there's more. I'm always interested to hear the Three Snaps Award, Thank Quote you. of the Week, Days Aster, and all the other fun things you guys do each week, sometimes not Tony. Um, keep up the great work. 
She wrote sometimes not Tony. Let me see. It says it's it right, right there. there. It's real small. You may not be able to see it from there. It's real. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> so, Sopaholic Mary Kay, you are our fan of the week. Yay. Did you post the TBT recently of us on this side of the table and Tony over there? Rude. Do you know what I'm talking about? The pictures you guys used to take? When we, yeah, but we talked about it on air and, and Mark and I scooted away. We were trying to tell the oh, fans how much distance saying, oh, is between. I was like, look how far they are. And y'all went... <laughs> did I have that? Did I take I, I, it? Didn't someone tweet that or post oh, I that recently? Not me. No? I didn't. Maybe I didn't. one of the fans did. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Well, now it's time for some news and gossip. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I'm doing the first one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Emmy-winning daytime drama writer Ron Carlavati has signed on as the soap's new head writer. The veteran soap writer is replacing Dina Higley. The show's other co-writer Ryan Kwan will now be a creative uh, consultant, along with Sherry Anderson Thomas, who won an Emmy in 1976 as a member of the Days writing team, and another one for her work as a writer on Santa Barbara <gasps> in 1984, Ooh. when you were like in your early 30s, right? Right. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, you had me at Santa Barbara in 1984. So, Done. she knows what she's doing. What do we think about this move, though? You know, you know what I didn't. They know? just keep. Well, I I didn't know that that Dina had been hired and fired, like I think two other times. Yeah. So oh, I yeah, didn't I, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, Another news thing that I wanted to, to talk about, if I if if I can, um, there is another Toronto event. Start. It's um, so. Do you think that <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Start of Summer Bash with Days of Our Lives stars in Toronto, Saturday, June third? Uh, Billy Flynn, Eric Martsoff, and Rob Wilson will be there. Q and A with the stars, a light lunch, a one on one meet and greet with the stars, professional photos with the stars, dinner and dancing. Um, if you want more information, I did retweet the. A link to the Eventbrite page with the um, ticket information and stuff like that. Um, it was I found it. It took me to the Eventbrite.ca. It's in Canada, so it's .ca, not .com. Are you going to the event? Um, He's I, hosting. I, no, Aren't not. you you're not no, hosting no. it? No, no. Oh. Um, but I, I mean, it, it, we'll see where I'm at in June. You know what's going on. I, I she's told a Sabrina, very busy girl. Sabrina, Tony. if you guys don't follow Sabrina, she's um, at M I C H. E L U Z Z A three. Mishuzla? Mishuzla? Michaela? Michaeluza? I don't know how you say it. Sabrina. Sorry, Sabrina. I'm butchering your Twitter handle. Um, M I C H E L U Z Z A three. Um, you can probably find her through my Twitter too, because I just retweeted her link for the event. If you guys want to go see Billy, Eric, and Rob, they were who I was in Toronto with well, last year. Speaking of events, I will be hosting the That's dual all of coast. Them. E oh. there aren't anymore. <laughs> I will be hosting the dual coast events uh, happening in Charlotte, North Carolina, on April twenty second. There, you have your chance to mix and mingle and meet with uh, Mary Beth Evans, Eric Martsoff, Nadia Bjorlin, Billy Flynn, yes. Stephen Nichols, and Galen Gehring. So, for more information, please visit dual co That's dual d u a l dual coast events dot com. And what day is that on? April twenty second. April yes. 22nd. Huh? So make sure you do that. It's a Saturday? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Check my calendar. You should come. I might. I thought you said you didn't want him there. You should come. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Lorraine Love will show up. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Billy will never recognize me. Oh, boy. Yeah, he will. All right. So uh, that has That's been fun. your full recap of Days of Our Lives. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this late, lovely evening. We will be back at our regular time next Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Mark, let them know where they can find you on social media and along with your hair. That's great. Matthew, why don't you... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure it's written down there, so I don't even understand. Ah! <laughs> Shame. At Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E, L-O-V-E. And Can your hair? Me. And my hair living for the number four, the hair. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Matthew E. Payne. And young man, where can they follow you? Oh, you can find me on all social media platforms at Lounger with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, and we'll see you next week for another full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Bye, everyone. I can Bye. use this for my reel. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. 
To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.